Maryland is recognized. I yield one minute to the gentlewoman from Missouri, Ms. Bush. The gentlewoman from Missouri is recognized for one minute. St. Louis and I rise today in opposition to this central res resolution um, and in also in opposition to the reckless manner that people in this house speak when they don't realize or don't care that they put targets on the backs of actual people, most of whom are black and brown, because of, of uh, a lack of care and a lack of understanding and a lack of seeing the humanity of folks who look like Rashida Tlaib. It's outrageous that my colleagues are blatantly, blatantly attempting to silence the only Palestinian American representative right here. Um, it's outrageous, but it's not surprising. And let me tell you, it's not surprising because this place is where 1,700 members of Congress, this elected body, enslaved black people. It's not surprising because they thought it was right. It's not surprising because this is a place where members continue to claim that the insurrection on the Capitol just appeared to look like a normal tourist visit. It's not surprising because this is the place where our black and brown staff members repeatedly speak of experiencing racism and sexism, Islamophobia, get pushed off of elevators, xenophobia and more right here in this workplace. This is the place. And let me say this. She mourns for the 1,400 Israelis. The gentlelady's time has expired. Life. She mourns for the 10,000 and she will not stop. The no more. The gentlelady's time has no expired. No Cease fire now. And she takes the, the death threats that you all send. That, that they the gentlelady is no longer speaker. recognized. The gentleman from Maryland. To her, to her, the desire to save lives is greater than Gentle, the gentleman from Maryland is recognized. That's okay. what I said. We'll, we'll reserve.